It's been over a year since I've hunted with the 27 Creed more aptly improved. I went to confirm the thermal zero was still true before heading out to West Texas. I mentioned to Ron I was concerned about the high chance of thunderstorms earlier in the week, but by the time Wednesday rolled around, the thunderstorms had thinned out to nothing. When I left Dallas, it was still constantly drizzling. By the time I got to Weatherford, the roads were dry and the windshield wipers were off. When I got to Ranger, the clouds were gone and the dog was enjoying the sun. Tonight I'd be running with a 116 grain absolute hammer bullet that I've got running at 3325 FPS. I headed out to the far west of the property. The wind was pretty gusty and I didn't expect to see anything come out into the open. Around sunset I positioned my collar and decoy about 75 yards. Just as the sun was setting, these deer came out into the field. I called for about 20 minutes. The only thing that interested in the call were these deer. Ron and I switched sides of the property. He told me hogs were showing up at the east feeder, so I worked that direction. Ten minutes later, Ron had a hog on the ground. Check out this action. At 7.30 p.m., these hogs rolled in. Yes, I purposely waited for a double. You can see here the bullet impacted both hogs. I completely missed the second shot. The third shot blew the snout right off this boar. This is the exit wound of the first hog. Massive bleed out. This is the entry wound. Sorry the camera would not focus, but the bullet hit the rear quarter of the shoulder. The second hog was in need of a finishing shot. The initial bullet impact hit center mass, taking out the back end of the right lung. I'll pause the video here. You can see here the pedal hit above the shoulder and probably clipped the spine, causing him to drop. With it only being 7.45 p.m., I wanted to try calling a coyote. I have nearly 100% success in this particular field. Tonight would be tricky with the direct west wind. I put the collar about 100 yards to my north. The coyote always comes in from the east field. 15 minutes into the call, this coyote would work in. He was directly downwind of the call. I believe he would circle around and attack from the north, but he didn't like something and turned upward. Let's just go for it. I'll slow this down so you can appreciate the miss. I googled the distance to roughly 320 yards. If I would have accounted for the constant 10 to 20 mile per hour wind, this coyote would have been food for the buzzards. This is the entry wound on the first hog. If you look here, you can see massive hemorrhaging, and this is the exit side. This is the entry shot on the second hog. When you look behind the hide, it looks like either the bullet slightly turned or the hog was slightly quartering from the first hog. This is the secondary wound above the shoulder from a pedal about three and a half inches from the base of the bullet that clipped the spine. The second hog taped in at 200 pounds. I ripped the back straps out of all three hogs. I'll make a secondary video on this process for those that are interested. Three hogs down, half a mini Coleman cooler full of backstrap, and my first double with the 27 Creedmoor AI. Big thanks to Ron for the West Texas opportunity, and stay tuned for my next adventure.